Hola, tis I, Alicia. How are you? Hope you're doing okay. We're going to look into Vivek Ramaswamy. Is he like legit? Is he like secret evil? Is he the most benevolent person who's ever come to earth and we need to pay attention to him? That's what we're going to find out today. It's a tarot oracle card reading entertainment purposes only. My opinion, psychic intuition, X, Y, Z, not fact, right? And yeah, so he was seen rapping an Eminem song. I don't know. Um, which, you know, of course, if I'm going to don my tinfoil hat, then of course I'm going to be like, hmm, Eminem just came out and he's all, you know, upset. And, and so why would this guy be rapping Eminem? Or it could be, you know, ignore the artist, like the music, but still, I don't know. Just kind of, hmm. So Vivek, Mr. Ramaswamy, we're going to do start out with using the Madhouse Tarot, and this is the one you know, but if you're new to the channel, there's psychological meanings to it. I am not a mental health clinician, so we're not doing that. I'm not, I read cards, okay, so, uh, but I have a cheat sheet for all of these because there's psychological meanings to each of these cards, which I am not going to retain in my brain, so... That's where we're going to be using those for. But we're going to start out, let's look at his uh, personality, allegedly, and we'll go from there and see, like, what's his true agenda? What's he looking to do? Is Maybe he's just such a good guy. Maybe he's not. So, Vivek Ramaswamy. Okay. Come on out, cards, and let us play. Oh, God. First card. The first card. Oh, God almighty. <sighs> kind of looks like uh, Jesus over there. Good Lord. Anyhow, we'll get to those in a minute. Um, Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Emperor, of course. Um, six of Cups. Six of Swords. Seven of Wands, I maybe I ought to put something over. You know, those naked -y cards people get so obsessed with. Ace of Cups. Interesting. Um, strength. And King of Coins. Okay, let me see if I can shift these down a little bit because some of these guys are up here and it's kind of harder to see them. Stick you there, there, there. Come on, nakedy. All right, so we're going to start here. <laughs> this is general characteristics for Vivek, allegedly. We have the Devil and we have the Four of Cups. Devil and Four of Cups. How can I make that look better? I don't have extra large hands. Okay, but that's what we have. So let's look into it. We have do, 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 a Devil. Addictions, a heat of passion, desire for power, compensating for low self-esteem and demonic possession. Okay. And we have the Four of Cups. That's apathy, depression, overwork, loss of energy. Does this mean he gets, like, really ramped up in his, like, devilish ways? And then he's like, ugh, I'm so spent being a devil. I have to take a break. Perhaps. Perhaps. But, yeah. Meh. <laughs> okay. Let's go here. Emotional characteristics. That's our Wheel of Fortune. Where is that in my little thingy? Wheel of Fortune. Obsessions. Doubts. Repeated defensive rituals. When a person is afraid. Fatalism. Oh. Oh, God, I'll never be able to do my devilish things. I'll never be able to complete it because I run out of energy. I don't know why we're using that accent today, but that's what I'm going with. Intellectual characteristics. We have the emperor. <laughs> yeah. Megalomania. Obsession with delirious ideas. Grandiose ideas. Partial or full manifestation of paranoia. Manic depressive conditions. Schizophrenia. I am not a mental health clinician. Not diagnosing. Okay. <sighs> I'm getting troubled with, I was already troubled with the devil card. The fact that we have this emperor card with it kind of bothers me. Part of me is like, though, it seems to peter out. 
It's almost like I'm going to go full evil and then uh, I can't. So let's continue on and maybe, maybe it's okay. Uh, this is uh, financial standing. Six of cups. Fantasy. Fantasy. Like, I think he's a successful businessman, but there must be something not quite right there. Hmm. Something's not quite right there. Something, the whole story has not been told. I'm seeing the, the shell game. I don't know. Uh, let's see, what's our next one? Oh, <laughs> God, that's not good. Uh, six of Swords for the life tendency for the next 10 to 15 years. Tendency to vagrancy. Frequent changes of places. Desire to hide from reality. Escapism. Manifestations of sociopathy. <laughs> He's scaring me now. Allegedly. Allegedly. All right, let's see. Seven of Wands. That's over here in our person's kind of uh, strengths or not but what they're really dominantly I guess in times of characteristics uh, painful attachments to mother mommy issues oh paranoid states phobias so we have him as like check out the big brain on Brad and then we also have him like with mommy issues and paranoia and megalomania uh, with desirous, desirous to do bad stuff. Okay, and then we have the weakness, Ace of Cups, which is kind of interesting. Uh, he might have, as it says, substance addiction. I'm not accusing him of being on anything. He seems like he's lucid. So I don't know. I guess people can be lucid on something. I don't know. I'm not making an accusation. That's all I'm here to say. Laziness, eternal infancy, vigilant maternal control. That's interesting because that goes here with the mommy issues. Mmm. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Negative characteristic strengths. <laughs> Strength. Love of power. Addiction to unhealthy habits. Opportunism. Yeah. Okay. And we have... King of Coins, and that is our positive, positive characteristic here. That's not look like Albert Einstein. I, I don't know. Uh, da -da. Collecting possessiveness. This is mine. This is mine. I did this. Mine. 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 Hmm. Why am I getting like neuro energy? Okay, well, let's just uh, continue on. What was it I read today? Let me see if I can find that. Hold on. Okay, I found it. Okay, so this is on Desiree News. I think that's how we're trying to say it. I don't know. GOP presidential hopeful Vivek Ramaswamy rejects Sen Senator Mitt Romney's call to back one Trump opponent. Somehow, in the name recognition game that is a presidential campaigning, the longest of long shots has emerged as Donald Trump's toughest challenger, Vivek Ramaswamy. Okay, so how does stupid Mitt Romney get into this, Mr. Hot Dog Boy? Romney is calling all candidates and donors to back a single Trump challenger by February 2024. What does Ramaswamy think of this? I haven't even finished question before he interjects. I don't really care what Romney wants. Well, I don't really care what Romney wants either. So we're on the same team on that. But I am kind of... Romney's total jerk. Um, another snake in the grass. Anyhow, let's see then. Let's see why why is Romney bringing this up? Like, who cares about you, Romney? Really? We have to do a reading on Romney and the hot dog thing. It was just weird. The way he phrased things in it, weird. All right, what, what is Romney interjecting? He's a, not even real. He's a rhino. All right. King of Swords. 
Doesn't that kind of look like Don Knotts? Kind of. And the chariot. Yeah! Knight of Wands. The Empress. King of Pentacles. That's Mitt Romney. That and his binder full of women. Uh, whatever happened with that? High Priestess. Okay. Page of Cups. He, Mitt Romney, my opinion, allegedly, ha he has something on Ramaswamy to get him in line. Three of Cups, you better work with us. Okay, because we have the Knight of Wands, and this is like uh, PR stuff, but it's uh, projecting it out into the media. And it's almost like, okay, well, I sent this me message out, right? I delivered this message out, but there's a secret agenda behind this message. And uh, the, the machine is behind this, and, and we have something we can pop out later. Surprise! Here's a picture of you doing something nefarious that we're going to use at campaign time. Hmm, should have gone out. Should have went with our plans here. Three of Swords. Oh, I wonder if this is mommy issues. I don't know because we have the Empress and Three of Swords. It could have kind of be maybe mm. Ace of Pentacles. He's got a. He's got something to sink this Ramaswamy guy. He has something to sink this guy. Let's pull out Mildred Payne and see what the Empress and Three of Swords is about. There's something, this, this is something like I would say it has to be some type of like a family issue. It's a permanent, you have the stump, it's a permanent like connection, right? What's a trump, a stump, <laughs> a trump, a stump on a tree, um, family tree, roots. There's something here um, that we're going to show people, we're going to put it out there, you're going to everybody's going to try and want to defend against this. So this must be something kind of big uh, to sink his star that he's got going on. And, you know, you can make a wish that this will go away if you want to play our game. <laughs> Ooh, the politics get dirty. All right, so that's not good. Well, maybe it is, you know. I, I don't... I'm happy if a lot of these people get exposed. All righty, let's see... Um, Let's look into why is Ramaswamy running. Supposedly he's in the number two position. Well, you know what I meant. Don't go there. Um, and I'm recording this August 14th, 2023. So all sorts of things can change a year from now. But he's number two right now. And so let's see. What is his motivation in running for president? Son, he wants, he wants, I don't know. Let's, let's go continue on. I don't want to see heartbreak in the past. Queen of Wands. I'm seriously starting to take this like there's mommy issues or something in the past. Allegedly. But... First, I looked at the sun like, oh, I want to shine a light on everything. Like, look at all this stuff. Um, but there's this heartbreak in the past. And then this is kind of like um, Queen of Wands here is kind of making me feel like a bad witch. Like, something happened with my mommy and I'm going to take it out on all of you. I don't know. This could just be, yeah, like he wants justice. He wants justice? I'm going to Mildred Payne that one. Three of Cups, he's working together. So it's not like he's just this independent agent out there. He's got a group behind him, as they all do, but I'm taking this more as a, there might be further people behind the scenes, not this, the people working on the campaign day to day. There's like a 
machine behind him, I guess we'll say. What machine? I don't know. Okay, he has this beard because he's ba his back is up against the wall. So he knows this is not necessarily the easiest path to go forward. Um, five of Pentacles. This is, this is obsession spot, the Five of Pentacles. Now, I would tend to think that his obsession, if, if I want to point this into a, the positive spin here, is like helping those who have not been able, who have been walked over, helping the less fortunate. But then I could also take it as he wants to, he's a part of the less uh, like not less fortunate he's a part of the dirty birds that have been cast outside the church <clears throat> i'm gonna have to mildred pain that okay so his obsession is planning for the future it's always about looking into the future where he wants to go and his main obstacle is <clears throat> getting this to grow in the right way you could also if you wanted to take it his main obstacle is somebody's uh, wielding their big uh wand all around town and that makes it difficult to overcome that big wand in your face okay you get what I'm saying let's Mildred paint this I want some more fries with that This feels really like this is something that stems from his childhood. It's almost like he was brought up. This is what we want you to do. Heartbreak in the past. I want to keep it buried. I don't want this to get dug up. See, and then this is the future. This is like there's something. Uh, something's going to come out and bite him. Or he, yeah. Or he wants to bite. Why does he want to run? He wants to, he wants revenge. Like, this is not benevolence. This is not like I want to serve my country and I want to serve my fellow Americans. It's not, there's, I'm not getting that good vibe. This is like vendetta time. Overriding concern. He's out for revenge, man. But this machine that's behind him knows how to play the game. Hmm. Okay, he has fears he's not going to be able to do this. Like, he, he sees all the obstacles in his way. Iceberg ahead! Mirror. His obsession. It's revenge. It's almost like, I want you to see what you did to me. I want you to see what you did to me. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Hmm. There's a poppet and the two of wands. This is like, why am I doing this? Because I want it. It's like a voodoo doll, right? This is like a voodoo doll. Like this is like, I'm planning for the future and I'm going to like put a curse on you. I want you to feel retribution along with the justice and the stick. I mean, His main obstacle is being protected, though, during this process that he's doing. Okay, so allegedly he's running for a revenge. <clears throat> My opinion, allegedly. All right, let's see. I guess we'll just... Let's see what the uh, establishment GOP thinks of him. Since Romney wanted to poke his head out, I guess he's done with his hot dog. Um, let's see what the establishment GOP thinks of him. If you haven't yet, join me in the Moon Moth Manor. You get access to videos like these and ones I can't share here early and exclusive. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so the establishment, JOP, knew that this was always an idea, a direction that he was going to go. I don't. Okay. He must be in their circles longer than we know. Um.
this is kind of like we knew this is what he wanted to do, but we're not happy he's doing this now. And we're trying to like rein him back in. Yeah, like what are we going to do to sink him? What are we going to do to sink him? We're waiting to see. We're weighing our options. What are we going to do to sink him? They want to sink him. They want him out of there. They don't want him playing in the game. There's a possibility maybe we want to, you know, give him some other job. Hey, you want to come work as, I don't know, um, heating up Mitt Romney's hot dogs? Do you want to do that? Uh, or, you know, whatever, a lucrative contract. Maybe you can, you know, you know all their little money deals that they do. But they want him. Get out of here. Well, they want him gone, but he has revenge on his mind. And it doesn't seem like he cares that much about the country. This is like personal desires for running. Let's just see what would happen. Let's pull these out. We haven't seen our Hydesville Tarot Major Arcana deck in a while. What would happen if you actually did get into office? What would happen if Mr. Ramaswamy was president of the United States? Okay. Coming into a leadership position, I'm here, I'm your president, I'm going to guide the country. Oh, okay, in the past we've had a transformative past, things have changed drastically. And then he'd want to turn that around. Who's to say if this or when this would happen, so God only knows. Um... There's a concern he doesn't have any experience, but he'd want to go moving forward anyway. There's a fear, like there's a, is that Icarus, the one that flew too high to the sun or something? Oh, obsession, his obsession. Burn it down. Burn it down. Burn it down harsh. He wants fucking revenge. This is in the desire, driving ambition. He gets into power. What does he want? He wants to place judgment. Like he wants to be judge and executioner here. My opinion, allegedly. His main obstacle, though, is like getting the street cred, like where people are actually taking him seriously because essentially he's coming through this as like um, the fool. But it's he wants to come into partnership, come into partnership with the people right? The people have already gone through a transformation process by the time that this would happen. He wants to transform it again. Um, he's going to be looked like as there's this new guy in town. He like, at that point, I don't know how new, but he would be new to the job, not having uh, been a politician or having done or shown that he can achieve things. So he's just coming into this job wet behind the ears, but he wants to move forward, right? Yeah, but he wants to move forward with, you know. I wonder if the mommy issue is like, is there a, could you construe it in a way that the mommy issue is actually the idea that, you know, this is motherland, my homeland, motherland, and hating, the, hating America. Let's see. Oh, I'm curious. Does he hate America? I mean, he's tormenting people, rapping Eminem songs. That's not usually seen as a good thing. Um, but let's see. Mommy. This is like I've had in the past, I've had a love hate relationship with the country. 
I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, I hate it, I hate it. Oh! No way, bro. Oh! My opinion, no. Do not trust this dude. My opinion, I don't trust him. No. I mean, how many times do we have to get these no bueno cards, right? Yeah. It's almost here like I'm trying to hold on to something. There's something I'm, I want to build a foundation. I want to shake it down to the core foundation. I don't know what that is. If that's like really like I want to burn down the whole country and just keep it to like land and then we rebuild it. That could be an idea. I don't know. That would be weird. Why would he want to do that? Anyhow, but it's a burden. This whole, that's like, but I want to like knock it all down and start over. But I want to kind of do it behind the scenes. I've got a secret plan that's going, it's like for destruction. But the GOP establishment doesn't like him either, which is weird. Maybe they want the power. I don't know. I don't know. This is just my opinion. Allegedly, tarot cards, reading, entertainment purposes only. You do with that what you want. Um, until next time, stay safe and adios.